1982. On April 17, 1982, a major change happened in Canada as the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms was passed. This brought many changes to Canada politically, economically, and socially. It was written into Constitution on April 17, 1982, after a long campaign by Pierre Trudeau, and it assured certain civil and political rights to Canadian citizens. Before the Charter existed, the Parliament had the final say on all laws. The addition of the Charter changed that. The textbook says the Supreme Court of Canada now was authorized to have the final say on charter rights. This was a big political change. Many minority groups were impacted by the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Section 15.1 states that there will be no discrimination on the basis of race, nationality, or ethnic origin, color, religion, sex, age, mental or physical disability. A group that was immensely impacted by the Charter was LGBT. The Charter gave recognition to the LGBT community. In the years prior to the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, homosexual men were put into jail for their sexual actions. Discrimination against people who were LGBT continued even after the Charter was created. Homosexuals were not allowed in the Canadian Army until 1992. This is just one of many examples of the discrimination towards LGBT. Although the changes the Charter made happened over a period of time, so they set the flat platform for a future without discrimination. This was a positive social impact because the LGBT community could now express feelings and beliefs f without feeling fearing imprisonment, loss of employment, and criminal records. Section 15 of the Charter is open-ended so that it can always continue to bring new groups such as LGBT into its protection so future minorities do not get discriminated against. Women were another group affected by the Charter. When the Charter came, was signed in 1982, it changed the lives of many women. A big reason it gave change for women is because there now had to be gender equality. Women's groups were fighting for equal rights before the Charter was created. And once it came into play, it helped them to back up what they continued to fight for. It helped women economically because it said that women had to be paid equally for equal work. This was a big change. However, Stats Canada shows that from 1981 to 1984, the pay between men and women was still uneven. This shows continuity because the pay before the Charter was less for women than it was for men for doing the same type of jobs. This pay the pay was still uneven two years after the Charter women was introduced. Women were also helped economically because marital property laws were put into the Charter. This meant if there was a divorce, women could leave the marriage with money and or property that they had contributed to over the years. This was a big positive change. Prior to the Charter, women had no say in ending a pregnancy. The Charter changed this by giving women the right to have control over their reproductive systems. Socially, it benefited women because their reproductive rights were protected. In reality, in reality, though, it didn't happen until 1988 when abortions were legalized. The Francophone community was also affected by the Charter 
because it gave the right for their kids to attend French schools outside Quebec. This was a change. This was a negative economic impact for the government because they had to build French schools or provide classrooms if requested by the Francophone community. It was positive for the Francophone community because they could continue to practice their culture and language outside of Quebec. The Francophone kids continued to go to school, but they now had the choice between an English or French-speaking school. This fell under the minority language rights, meaning you could not be forced to be assimilated into the English language. Having the ability to request French services in a Canadian court, parliament, parliament or government of Canada institution was a huge positive change for the Francophone community because they can now use their language in everyday situations. Aboriginals are the last group I am going to talk about. The Charter allowed Inuit and Métis to be included as Aboriginal peoples of Canada. This change led to more people identifying themselves as Métis people. Another change is the existing Aboriginal treaty rights of the Aboriginal people of Canada became recognized and affirmed. This change almost didn't happen because the Aboriginals were once again not consulted and were not going to be included in the Charter. This shows continuity because they, were, they are never consulted. Take, for example, the Red River Rebellion. The land surveyors never consulted the Aboriginal people before going to survey their land. Aboriginal rights in general are based on the continued occup occupation of lands by Aboriginal peoples since before the European settlement. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms made a huge positive change in Canadian society. It affected the political, economic, and social fabric of Canadian life. There were many Supreme Court rulings to protect the rights stated in the Charter. In 1982, the creation of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms ensured that all citizens of Canada would be treated fairly.